so let's start for today uh, let me talk about the agenda for today okay so there was one question uh, previous session what is data engineering and uh, uh, what kind of skills do we need to learn to call ourselves a data engineer i thought of elaborating that question and uh, asking one bigger question to all of you do you understand what we do as a data engineering team right within a data engineering team we have different kind of roles somebody might be data engineering data engineer or somebody might call as a big data developer or there are tech leads team leads and architects senior architects or uh, even technical project managers and it goes up to the head of the data engineering team like director or someone who owns the entire uh, one data engineering team right one data platform and data engineering team so as a whole team what kind of application do we develop what do we do can anyone uh, come forward and answer uh, this question from their what what they understand so i i get a gist of what you understand what kind of application we build what we do in the data engineering is there some framework which we can tag ourselves to that this is what we do as a data engineering team i think both the uh, answers were uh, to the same point so data engineering team is uh, at high level we collect data process data and make it available to downstream systems or some other applications uh, for consumption right that's what arpit also explained and that's what uh, sarvanan explained and that's what it is so one thing before even you learn anything on the data engineering is spark or cloud or databricks or one thing should be very clear that what is the scope of the data engineering what kind of application do we build right once you understand that 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 fundamental is clear then only you will elaborate on uh, going deeper into different areas so i tried to cover that today uh, maybe uh, you already understand at least the uh, senior guys who have more experience they understand it but maybe uh, those who are or or in the beginning of uh, their learning curve or in the uh, beginning of their career they might not understand so let me walk you through uh, a holistic view of what we uh, call data engineering and what what kind of application do we build in the data engineering so uh, first thing is data engineering team and data engineering team sits in the center on the left side you have business or the data owners and on the right side you have data consumers data engineering team is a glue or a middle team who will work with the business data owners and collect data from them then the data engineering team will prepare that data which is uh, uh, in the format or in as per the requirement of the data consumers so that is at very high level i'll not go uh, talking much about this uh, the picture tells uh, itself that data engineering team is sitting in the middle on the left side we have data data owners right side we have data consumers data engineering team's responsibility is to collect data from the owners prepare it and meet the expectations of the uh, data consumers to understand this in more detail we'll have to look at the blocks of different components of this flow so we go from left to right uh, on this diagram and that uh, represents a flow of data so on the left most side you saw in the previous diagram you saw data engineering team on in the set, center left side you have business data owners right side you have consumers so in this block this these three middle blocks represent the data engineering project or the data or whatever we do as a data engineering team on the left side we have business and right side we have business so now try to understand this with the holistic 
view and then we will dip, uh, dig or deep down uh, inside each box right so on the left side what we call uh, this part as a data source or data producers or operational systems or in general we uh, business units that own data and these could be your enterprise applications could be databases could be websites could be file servers mobile apps iot devices the list is long i have listed few things here but this list is long and what are these if you look at try to uh, understand some examples let's say you are in, you are working for a bank right so in the bank there are some operational systems where you go you can open a savings account or maybe current account or loan account you can get a credit card from bank a lot of uh, transactional operations are performed in the bank and they have different systems for that so when you uh, create an account they create some data they capture some information about you they capture some information about your kyc lot of things they capture and when you deposit some am amount when you withdraw some amount or you make a credit card transaction all those transactions are recorded so those those guys or those systems are producing data right and that's why we we call these systems data producers or operational systems they keep on producing data these these guys are not part of the data engineering systems right they produce data they own data they have a different kind of system those systems are designed with the different objective and they have a, a different way of designing and working for those systems you think of other systems like you um, think of a business who is engaged in a video streaming service like youtube or netflix or any ott platforms these days they have their applications those applications are designed with different objective for different purpose those are customer facing applications so when you log into uh, or create an account with netflix or you log into youtube they record some transaction you uh search something on their website or on their app they record some transaction what you are searching they will produce you result you click one of those results they record that also they give you uh, some recommendations uh, to watch you pick up some of those recommendations explore that all that clicks all that you are doing is recorded so point is they are producing data and they are capturing data they store data and they own that data similarly mobile apps whatever app you have downloaded installed on your uh, um, phones or tablets whatever interaction you are doing with those uh, apps they generate data so these applications do produce data they capture data they they are transactional systems or they are data capturing systems they produce data they own it and they have their own way of storing uh, storing that data they store it maybe in databases or they might be storing it in a uh, no sql database or maybe in uh, relational database they might be storing it in some file servers or they keep a uh, lot of data in in form of files so these systems uh, own the data right now you come to the right side there are business units within the organization that these guys they need the data which is produced captured and owned by this leftmost team right so for example uh, if i talk about the um, video streaming service like netflix or something um, like youtube so just for an example in they give you a lot of recommendation right based on your past history or uh, your affinity your uh, region your lot of information that they capture uh about you while you are working uh, with or interacting with their application and watching videos and uh, doing fast forward or you are repeating something all those information they capture and based on that information these guys on the right side they want to build a model which uh generates recommendation for you that what you might like it could be uh, video streaming service could be e-commerce uh, web uh, application also e-commerce also 
they give lot of recommendation based on knowledge about you but knowledge about you is captured by this these applications that data is owned by these guys and these guys are responsible for generating the recommendation for you so how that data which is captured here comes to these guys the re reporting and analytics business units right that's what the data engineering team facilitates right from here to here the flow of the data is managed by the data engineering team and that's that's the kind of application we develop right so you look at any data engineering or data platform or data engineering team what they do on day to day basis they build applications to bring data from this left side to the right side right and that entire flow is what we develop as a data engineering team there are a lot of things inside it a lot of things to understand inside it but at very high level that's what we do we collect data from these guys and facilitate that data to these guys and then this these guys reporting guys they might ask uh, you to provide data in a certain format or in certain uh, state hmm, with good quality data with all everything cleaned everything uh, uh, structured or uh, in some kind of model that you facilitate that data to me in maybe star schema or maybe in snowflake model or maybe in some other model they they have their own requirements in what format in what model or in what uh, state they want data they might ask you give me files right i need files and this should be the format of the file so your requirement starts from here these guys will give you the rightmost side business units they give you requirement and you start working backward from that requirement that what data they are asking where is that data which system how they stored it how do i take it from there how do i prepare in the format these guys the rightmost guys are asking and then how do i facilitate that data how do i hand over that data to these guys the leftmost uh, guys are or leftmost business units are called data producers or data owners the right side guys uh, guys are uh, called uh, data consumers because they uh, want to consume the data that is produced by the rightmost side of the uh, applications the diagram looks like linear right from going from left to right but it is a circle the this reporting analytics whatever we call this feeds back to the these systems once again and for example the example that i took recommendation system right so for a uh, video streaming application the data initial data which is required to generate a recommendation is captured by these guys that data is flown and uh, facilitated to the rightmost uh, business unit uh, by the data engineering team they generate that recommendations and that recommendation comes back to these applications right ultimately they are generating recommendation for these guys itself right so this is a circle it's not a linear though anywhere everywhere you see these kind of diagrams it looks like linear but it is a circle it data keeps revolving in the circle on your recommendation you got 10 recommendations but which one you are picking right or you are exploring three four but which one you settle down finally on the recommended videos that is again some kind of uh, again your activity or uh, input to your behavior so those things again captured by these guys and it again flows back to uh, uh, to the rightmost system and they uh, use it once again to improve their recommendation right i mean you can take another example for maybe for in banking system so in banking system if you look at the credit card transaction you you performed one transaction in the using the credit card using the banking systems that transaction is recorded and is stored by the by these applications but there is something called fraud analytics or fraud prevent, prevention right so that transaction is immediately captured and recorded here but in at the same time this tra that transaction or some details of that transaction flows through this data engineering pipeline to these 
uh, rightmost system and they are responsible to perform fraud analytics they look at the transaction details they look at some past data that they already collected in past about uh, your uh, credit card transactions or about you for example they they recorded your previous transaction 2 hours ago and that was uh, your you swiped your credit card in bangalore and the next uh, transaction after 2 hours is coming from maybe philadelphia so they have their your past information but each transaction can also come in real time to these guys they immediately look at the transaction and mark that transaction whether it is it looks like a fraud potential fraud transaction or it is safe and that feedback goes back to these systems immediately so that they can approve the transaction or maybe they can reject the transaction or take a appropriate action whatever way they want to take take so this diagram though it looks like linear but it goes in into a uh, circle right so when we talk about data engineering team right that's that's where we belong uh, so we do not care about these applications we don't think about what technology what uh, tech stack is used by these systems we don't even get into uh, ourselves into what technology and what kind of application design and what what the how these systems work right we want to focus ourselves into these three boxes in the middle right that's the scope of the data engineering application you you talk about any organization any data engineering application or any data platform which is uh, designed to facilitate the data uh, or provide the data engineering work is all about these three boxes now let's drill down into uh, these three boxes uh, what we have inside these boxes and how that works right but before i move any questions on this